Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Sergeant Mouse back with some more NAR gameplay. That's right, we're starting to climb with NAR series. So I've got a fresh account. We're going to throw 50 games up above me. And we're going to see how it goes. NAR is a champ I've been practicing in, like, Emerald Diamond. I have an account I've been warming up with. NAR was my first main, so I really enjoy him as a character. We'll get into, like, what dynamics are interesting. One thing to note is my runes didn't save correctly. Uh, okay. Run surprisingly quick. Uh, my runes didn't save, so just ignore my runes this game. I'll, I'll touch on runes next game. Um, also, this seems to be like a bronze game, which is a little bit lower than I was expecting. This is a fresh account. It's kind of random where you end up. Normally, I find I end up in like gold flat, so I'm kind of surprised it puts me so low. But we'll win a few games, and on a fresh account, your MMR changes rapidly from game to game. So, but yeah. We're on Vershen. This is a 55% win rate matchup for an arm. He's playing really aggressive when he shouldn't be. Oh, maybe I should have switched earlier. I wanted to get try to get three more auto attacks off on the passive on W before I change. But I want to go for level three here now. I don't know where the jungler is. And I'm assuming their jungler started top. Which means they are at bot side. So they should be passing the top side. It's one of the things I'm really going to try to focus on. One thing I've noticed is my win rate on NAR hasn't been great. I've been playing NAR fine, but my win rate hasn't been great. I think it's because I've been doing a lot of uh, tunnel visioning on kills. Like, right now, I'm not really, like... I, I haven't been tracking jungler very well at this point in the game. Um, also, I'm doing a lot of commentary right now this game, so... It's part of it. Um, I should really be bodying this guy. Which I am, but... I saw Scorch there, just kind of ticking. I'm watching the minimap really far up. Uh, mini, uh, Nar, though, like, really fun as far as a range melee. We see Kindred here. We can go down here. Oh, this is easy. Nice. Um, mini, the way Nar works is really like Mini Nar is your DPS. You're squishier, but it's your higher DPS output. Mini Nar is really how you want to take on a lot of Bruiser and tanks. Is you want to start in Mini Nar, and that's how you like kind of shred through them. Like if you're you're going versus like a Darius, you go Mega Nar from the start. You're gonna get destroyed because Mega Nar is more about you have the CC chain. You have a little bit more um, burst damage, but less sustain damage. So if you don't kill someone in Mega Nar and you're like ult to WQ combo, you're gonna have a bad time. That's a bad time for this guy. Yeah, I don't want to blow flash for it. I could have gotten a kill. If I flash it, I don't get the kill. Maybe he shields somehow. I, again, I'm not really, I'm not really sure where Kindred went off her reset. She should have gone bot scuttle, but I mean, we're we're gonna be bodying this guy. I don't think I need to commit a flash for a kill early. I really enjoy the current R build, even though again, I haven't been winning a ton. Um, the current NAR build is like Trinity Force. It's very attack speed based, really focusing on that mini NAR. And when you're in solo queue, I think you want to focus on mini NAR a lot. A lot of people, I think, get focused on Mega NAR, like the ult combo. It's okay. Cool that your um, your third proc of W can't be wasted on the Shen W. I understand grass is also fine to go. I would prefer... I usually run fleet. I think fleet works really well in our in the current iteration. Yeah. One thing to note is I am... Challenger on Allowing. I'm not Challenger on NAR, though, so... Uh, we're gonna expect... I would say I'm probably, like, more diamond skill level with NAR. You can do pot side. Yep. I didn't see her on the minimap. I couldn't see her. You just can't do this. Those free kills will will not be a thing later in the climb. But right now, early in the climb. That's why I like using... One thing I really recommend is, like, if you're playing... If you're learning in champ, go ahead and make an account for, like, whatever you want to do. If you want to learn a new world, make a top... Like, if you, you're a top lane and you want to learn mid or your mid laner want to learn top or whatever, go ahead and just make an account for that role specifically and only play that role on that account. I think that's a really good way to do it. Same with learning a new champ. Learning a new champ can be really difficult if you're, you know, higher ranked and... 
you're higher rank and then you're trying to learn a new you're like first timing a champ you know in high elo and i'd rather first time a champ in lower elo rank than normals i just don't really like normals very much at all i don't think it's a great environment to learning league and it doesn't give you good feedback on where you are on a champion whereas if you make an account just for like one thing then the rank system will like set you where you're supposed to be on that champion which i think is a really nice feedback to, to your skill level yeah, Shen, I mean, this is unfortunate for him. He picked a bad matchup blind. Again, 55% winner for, for Nara in this matchup. I'm going to try to, like, include more matchups. He's getting a lot of these. I should not. I should really not let him get as many of these off as he has. But... You see, this is really, like, the wing con of Nara in a lot of matchups. You're, you're trying to space correctly. And then Nara's a phenomenal rundown champion. So the moment that they overcommit and they can't really kill you and they have to turn because they're going to die... Then you start going. Man, really surprised to win. I think I need to ult here. No. I'll save ult just for if like Kendrick shows up. I'm actually kind of hoping. I don't mind early losses on accounts because on these accounts, even though like I'm supposed to be, you know. Winning every game and looking really cool. That's not really the real reality of something new. Be a little bit careful here. I don't have anyone helping. I'm just trying to mess with them. I can't. There's really not much to do top. Not bad. They have the void card, so we gotta kill. I didn't have to blow a flash either. I was a little bit concerned. A really definitely a scary champion versus Nar. Nar is weaker to kind of the Camille's, the Kled's, the Aurelia's. Those champs that have high DPS that can gap close, because really Nar's weakness is if you're mini Nar, you're full you're not near your your enrage at all, and you get full engaged on full committed to. That's where you can really get into trouble as Nar. And it's part of the discipline of playing Nar, like understanding. Understanding when you can and cannot be like near the enemy and then managing your rage bar accordingly. Good rage bar. Oh, he's bottom. I mean, it's kind of rage twitting. Is it really going to send top though? Yeah, it's kind of the downside of being too low rank. Getting into like goofy games like this. We use E here just to get some attack speed. I guess we talk about the abilities because some of y'all might be watching, like trying to figure out Nar for the first time. Again, this was a Nar was the first champion I made in League. Um, your Q on Mini Nar is Boomerang, so you throw a Boomerang out, it slows. It adds a stack of your W. It does a good bit of damage. Um, catching it reduces the cooldown significantly, and also it does the most damage to the first champion or thing it hits. Right? Let me read it real quick. Yeah, it reduces the damage to subsequent targets. Your W is where a lot of your DPS comes from Mininar. Every third ability or attack deals 10 plus 8% and the scales up on the percent max health damage. So so that makes Nar really good for killing high high health, low damage targets like Shen, like a lot of the tanks. Your E gives you a burst of attack speed for 6 seconds. If you bounce off someone, it also um, deals damage and slows them. You can also use um, E... You use E and W to turn, or all of your abilities, once you get to full rage, you can use them to enrage into your Mega Nar form. Your ult does not have anything on, um... Oh wait, what does it do? It increases hyper speed, move speed. Oh, I didn't know that. So I guess leveling it does increase your, like, move speed on your W. I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, and then once you get to full rage bar, eventually you build up rage throughout the course. You can see here, if you don't hit anything, it stops climbing. Um, but yeah, once you go Mega Nar, we can go through the abilities there. So right now, I could E, W, or Q to turn into Mega Nar. I could also R as well. Now we have a big boulder, deals a lot of damage, uh, reduces cooldown, or uh, has a, a less slow, 50% slow. Or is that better? Uh, it's a better slow, actually. And it reduces a lot of the cooldown when you catch it. So you can do a lot of, like, catch and, and hold. Your W is a stun. You see me throwing that out at Shen a few times now. Your raise is your typical leap. You don't get the, the bounce leap though in Megan Arm. 
My uh, kindred's dead, so I don't really know what this guy's doing. Can never win this. Hey, right. limit testing is part of League. And then your R is like this, uh, you, you throw enemies around you in a direction. And if they hit a wall, they get stunned and take increased damage, another like burst of damage. So there's like a two part damage to it. And that's really a big part of, of NAR, is ma managing, like, you want to be mini NAR long enough to get them low. And ideally, by the end of your enrage, you go in, you do this, you Q, you ult, you W, you do all that stuff to, like, finish them off. Uh, okay. The only thing I'm worried about here, I'm going to stun him, but I'm worried about... Uh, that was a little bit scarier than I thought. I think a uh, Rayleigh's in beer. I should go for no Rayleigh's not here. Pike might be up here. Could have Ol. It's a little scary. I didn't play that great, but it's really goofy by them. Now we see everyone on the mini map. We're good. Okay, let's go for the tier two. Big wave here. Kinder did more damage than I expected, honestly, considering she was 0 and three. I went into ult when I was mini nar or when I was mega nar before I came out because I knew I knew there had to be someone else around. I don't know if I can actually get this. I don't really want to die. Oh, this is kind of scary. Is it, am I gonna lose it? I don't think so. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm just gonna let it live for now. The thing is, Kindred in a really could run up. I'm worth a lot of gold. I don't really want to give a shutdown right now. Um, they're all 80 base, auto attack base damage. I'm gonna go ahead and get tier two boots and. Second item, we can go Black Cleaver. It seems like the standard build is turning to force Black Cleaver, Seric Sage. And you kind of build into like maybe attack speed, maybe some little bit of healthier item, like a teleport here. I think they've got it though. Wukong's pretty good too. Nice, okay. The Boric Wukong, is that a thing? Now the season is going to reset. I'm recording this on May 5th. The season will reset in 10 days. So we're going to, throughout the series, we're going to kind of have this like reset, like probably 10 games in. This would be a little bit goofy, but I didn't want to stall the, the series, so I want to get the series going to get YouTube videos back up. So we'll just have to deal with that, and it'll be a good time to talk about like how the, the ranked season splits work, because a lot of people don't in League, I really don't really know um, how that stuff works. We didn't get it. We didn't get the IQ uh, slow there. You see, once you get some attacks, once you get some CDR, like you basically just Q spam and Megan R if you're like, standing on the boulder. Uh, ability rip max is definitely Q W E. There could be some merit to. You have to use W right if it's up right before you come out of Megan Arc, because there's really no point in holding it. I wonder if I ever really come up. Uh, Rotel doesn't really matter. I don't know why this is. Freaking out of it. No! Cannon! Was it worth Was it worth the yeah. game should be over pretty soon. We see Kindred on. So yeah, like Diana the Diana's like really concerned about this rip. But me and Wukong understand this rip doesn't really matter. Like if we can get it, sure we should get it, but I mean everything else is free and everything else is better. So if we can get other stuff that's better, that's also free, you should just go get that stuff. That's better. Oh, what the heck? No! I need to, like, gap close. I think I need to get away from her. I was hoping her Q was on cooldown, but it wasn't. Okay. I mean, we have a ton of gold, though. I, per I do prefer Fleet. Fleet gives a little bit... I think Fleet does better healing, and also I really like the movement speed you get from it. 
Nar is really it's so important, I think, especially if you're below diamond. You can you can really win like just about anything by just spacing correctly on Nar. So that extra burst of misfeed from Flea is so valuable, I find. Did I mute this guy's ping? Like Drake is way more valuable here. Everyone should just go Drake. I have teleport. I'm ready to go. Do you have a ward? Go ward, please. Yeah. Might be a fight here. Yeah. I realize my ping on that is on the wrong key. Change that. You can tell R. Or is it even the key, I guess? Never had an R opportunity. It's not it's not worth the flash here, by the way. I think I think people a lot of players would be like, oh, flash for the kill. It's totally not worth it. We've already won decisively. Use flash for something else. Oh no way! Woo! A damage though. Sheesh. Ah! What if I could have killed there? I think I really will push up on this next wave. If I space correctly and dodge ability, should be okay. Oh, nope. Not running, not running up. Let's see if just anyone runs up. I mean, everyone's been done. Oh, that's a little A-Rim. Okay. I'm gonna get Seraphage in the reset. Or let's push this. The game's pretty over. It doesn't really matter. But maybe it does matter, and my hubris will get the best of me, and then we'll lose the first game. That'd be terrible. Just crack the base open real quick while we can. Go get Sarek Sage. It seems like they overcommitted in mid lane. Not a big deal. Is there a carry that's gonna be problematic? It's probably just Ash or Aurelia to see what it needs to be worried about. Do I like a defensive item here? It would help me be a little bit tankier. I would reduce healing. Maybe I will go like one defensive item. Just because they're so AD based, um, and they have some decent healing on like Aurelia at least. Uh, my friend. Oh, big ult though? Big ult? Oh, 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 oh. Shut down. That's okay. I'll clear the ears real quick. Kill things so quickly, you do so much damage. I'm gonna wait to bot, I'll just do this. Nice. Okay. Try to catch someone in the sideline. I'd rather be in the side lane right now and try to be doing like 1v2s, 1v3s. In this elo, there's a lot of miss, like just like mechanical misplays the enemy players will do. Send a lot of people. <laughs> they were they were sending a lot. I've got teleport, so I'm just gonna reset. They sent a lot of people for me. My team was able to push mid at least, get in hit, and now they're kind of threatening a few kills and maybe another. I teleport, go back to the farm now. I'm gonna go top. I think that makes a lot of sense. My team doesn't really need help. Just keep keep. Uh, maybe we should end the game though. We don't really have a wave. Wave there. Maybe teleport here. Doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna go top. I think top's safer. 
Get a potion. I mean, this game's gonna be over soon. Let's just secure it with like triple in him. Pretty hard to lose from that point, especially Drake coming up. I think that bot lane, if I were a Lowry, that's like a 1v5 opportunity. But on Nari, it's not really like a champ that's made for that. There's an anti center. There's like a outplay here where you you can if you're Nar into Kindred, you can ult the whole enemy team out of the Kindred R. We didn't get to experience it that game, but that's an outplay potential. Cool, great game for game one. I mean, definitely happy with that. We're playing did great. I'll I'll fix my my runes for game two. I'm not sure why they didn't save. Iron. Okay, we're gonna climb really quick. Again, this is just an unranked account. I don't know why it determines where you put it the way it does, but. Again, a little bit lower than I'd like to be. Oh well. Uh, yeah, damage to champions. We did top. S plus, good. Blah, blah, blah. Look at champ gold. See here, just able to get a big gold lead. And that's really just Shen, like, going in on times he can't. But it's a terrible matchup for him, so uh, definitely understandable. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next time.